This is obviously um, a copy of the Charnia fossil that we were looking at earlier on. Um, and Phil, this looks to me like there's another Charnia here in front of us. So can you tell us what we're looking at here? Well, what you're looking at here is a one metre square cast of the um, bedding plane surface, the rock surface, uh, where Roger Mason found his original specimens. Right, okay. And uh, when Roger uh, was working in the quarry, he found a handful of uh, specimens, two species in particular. Uh, one of which has been called Charnia masoni, which you have the yep, type right. specimen example of here. And then you can see something very similar running from its tip along here to its base here. And the, the most obvious difference between this specimen and that is uh, in overall size. And that makes us, is one of the reasons that we suspect that this is very closely related to Roger's original specimen, um, but is in actual fact a different species of the right. same uh, genus. Um, it's it's rather, uh, rather larger and it actually has a, uh, a greater number of these divisions running all the way up its length. Okay, and it looks like there's perhaps other things on this, this slab as well. So we've already seen this one here, which is probably uh, Charnia, similar to the specimen you have in your hand there. But if you look closely, there's something that we think is rather like Bradgatia, a species called Bradgatia, and you can see it's hold fast or its anchor point here, this bulbous structure, and then it runs in a sort of feather-like mass all the way round mm. here. And then there are a large number of other specimens on this uh, slab. You can see something uh, just here, which is part of a frond, so it's only a fragment right. of the uh, organism. Uh, and then you see these sort of nebula, these vague, um, wrinkled structures. And there's been some debate as to exactly what they mm. are. Uh, whether they're a microbial algal mat, if you like, that covered the sea uh, floor surface and just became wrinkled um, uh, during the fossilization process, or whether they were something similar to this, but uh, rotted in place. And so you don't really see the actual true outline of the fossil. So we're calling these, well, Charnia um, and Bradgatia and things, but what, what, yeah, what were they? What, what kind of things were they? Well, really, absolutely no one has an idea um, as to exactly what these were. Um, the structure of them is not, um, is, is not similar to anything, as far as we know, alive today. So it's, it's probably a group of organisms that became extinct very early on. That's not to say that they weren't very successful in their time, because for tens of millions of years, these completely dominated the sea floor of Earth. Mm. Um, but it's not at all clear whether these are animals, plants, fungi, or some other group, because they don't show all of the characters of any of those uh, groups. And it may well be um, that these are actually a much more ancient lineage that either um, developed earlier and became extinct and never got through to uh, uh, present time, um, or that these were on a stem which eventually evolved into animals, plants, fungi, or other groups that we recognize today. So how do you go about casting a, a whole rock, rock face in a quarry? I mean, what, what, what's, what kind of things are involved? Well, it's, it's a very large undertaking and we had some, uh, um, some professional moulding and casting operators in to help us. And I can show you some of the material and how we did it on the table just here. OK, let's do that. OK, Phil, well, here we are with some specimens here. Um, do you want to try and explain how, how we go about doing these casts of, in, the, uh, in the quarries? OK, well, here's a piece of actual rock from Charnwood Forest, a very hard um, rock which has a very high uh, volcanic glass content, mm. lots of ash in it. Um, and you can see on the surface there's a disc um, oh, with yes. lots and lots of rings around it. Uh, but one of the problems we suffer from is that because a lot of the rock surfaces in Charnwood Forest um, are old quarries. There's obviously been a lot of dirt accumulating um, and lichen mm -hmm. uh, grow all across the surface. And you can see lichen uh, growing on this specimen here. So one of the first things we have to do is to clean the rock surface very, very carefully. And that reveals the fossils and the detail of the fossils much better. And then once the rock surface is dry and clean, we then apply a thin layer of um, silicon rubber to the surface, we allow that to dry, and then we can peel the whole thing away, and you can see we get a perfect, uh, perfect um, replica of the fossil on the surface. Mm -hmm. And then uh, one of our technicians will then um, make Plaster of Paris casts of that um, replica, and here we have Plaster of Paris okay. casts of that yeah. specimen, 
And you can see it is a perfect uh, replica of the original specimen. And then of course we can light that in any direction that we want to enhance certain features, which makes it much easier to work on this material. Right. And uh, you can see we've got quite an array here spread out. Um, am I okay to touch the yep, picks one up? I mean, what, what are we looking at here? Is it well, this is a juvenile of um, Charnia masoni, the very first uh, species uh, that Roger Mason found in mm. the quarry. Um, and what's great about this is not only is it juvenile, so we can see how this organism grew with time, but it's also complete. Here's the tip of the frond, uh, and we can go all the way down the frond to the base here. And that little um, globular uh, base to it is the holdfast. And that structure is not preserved in the type specimen. No, so true. from the new work we've been doing, you, we can say much more about this organism's biology. Mm, great. And um, you said, you know, so we found out new things about Gianni and we have a disc on it. Um, what about this thing here? It's, it's, this looks odd. Um, do you want to try and... Well, this is, this, is, this is one of the real uh, stars of the new finds. Uh, it's a completely new species as far as we're aware. It's not described from anywhere else in the world. Um, and it's really quite spectacular. One, because it's, it's, it's very large in comparison to most Egeacaran uh, species. You can see it has a very, very large mm -hmm. holdfast disc at the pace from which you can see a stem emanating and this large cauliflower-like uh, frond on mm -hmm. the top, which would have been a sort of good globular artichoke sort of uh, right. size. So this would have been really quite a large organism yes. when it was alive, you know, perhaps standing 30, 40, 50 centimetres above the sea floor. Completely unknown. We don't know how it lived, how it fed, how it bred, what it actually was. So there's, a, there's an awful lot to learn about mm -hmm. it. And is, is this the only um, new kind of uh, discovery from uh from the Charmwood Forest? No, um, from the moulding and casting that we've done so far up to date, we have at least uh, half a dozen new species, uh, probably closer to a dozen. But um, we have so many specimens now that uh, it's going to take some time before we know exactly how many we do have. So, so what, ha what is the, uh, the next stage in the process then? Well, the next stage in the process is to, is to take these uh, casts and moulds and to examine them in very close detail uh, to try and work out the biology of these organisms, they're very fine structure. And from that, the hope is that we should be in a much better position to work out what these organisms actually were, it, how they relate, if at all, to modern groups of animals, plants and fungi, um, and how they functioned. How did they make their living? Did they photosynthesize like plants? Did they catch uh, little um, um, organisms within the water column uh, or eat detritus? We, we just don't know. So yet more to find out. Much more. And yeah. we, sh we should know much more about the ecosystem by doing that and what life was really like 560 million years ago.